Good morning, Avon. I'm Elijah Barra, here with a special guest anchor. That's right, I'm Mr. Hines. Thanks for watching the Oriole Report on this Thursday morning. We begin with our top story. You may or may not believe in Bigfoot, but just this week, the Indian Army tweeted out, claiming to have found evidence of the mythical creature. The tweet reads, quote, for the first time, an Indian Army mountaineering expedition team has sighted mysterious footprints of myth mythical beast Yeti. You can see the pictures included with this tweet. You may or may not believe, but this story is taking over conversations on social media, creating a lot of buzz. Now, let's check in with Ray for our local forecast. Thanks, Mr. Hines. Today we will get more thunderstorms throughout the day. The high temperature is 73 degrees with a low of 53. Tomorrow we, can, we enter the weekend with cloudy skies, a high of 66 and a low of 52. Saturday you can expect more rain. The high will be 67 with a low of 49. And Sunday we should end the weekend with partly cloudy skies, a high temperature of 73 to 72 degrees and a low of 53 degrees. Next week is also looking rainy, so don't toss your umbrella aside just yet. Back to you. We begin with our Oriole menu today. In the home style line, you'll find rings of chicken, dinner rolls, and green beans. In the international line, there will be pepperoni breadsticks and green beans. And in the grab and go line, you can find popcorn chicken, salad, turkey and cheese subs, protein boxes, yogurt meals, hot and spicy chicken sandwiches, and PB&J Uncrustables. Interested in becoming a member of the Distinguished Young Women of Avon program? Stop by the main guidance office to get your application packet. Finals are approaching, but we want to keep you smiling. So here's a fun video to show you what some students and teachers think the best cartoons are and why. I'm here with another episode of Best and Why. Today we're going to go around and ask what everybody's favorite movie is. Let's go check it out. What is your favorite movie and why? Um, I would say it's The Notebook. That's such a sad movie. But it's a really nice one. Yeah, I think it's really, it's just really sad and stuff. I like it. Get you in the feels. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> what is your favorite movie and why? Friday because it's really funny and entertaining. Entertaining? I like entertaining movies. <laughs> What's your favorite movie and why? Um, I like Moana because she's pretty. Moana's pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> What's your favorite movie and why? Way Chicks. Making my way downtown. <laughs> What's your favorite movie and why? My favorite movie is Emperor's New Groove. <laughs> Probably because I grew up with it. Most of my friends think it's stupid, but I think it's a good movie. Like childhood memories, like I get yeah. it. What's your guys' favorite movie and why? Napoleon Dynamite. Napoleon Dynamite. Yeah. It's just funny. Uh, he's really crazy. He does some really weird stuff. Yeah. <laughs> and for HS News, I'm Karen O'Neill. A reminder for all TV students and STN members, we have our final meeting of the year in Ms. Tower's room from 3 to 4. This is a pizza party and team bonding with fun games. Plus, we will discuss some plans for next year. See you there. Today's guests for the mental health fair include Sheltering Wings, Cummins Behavioral Health, HRH, YMCA, and a photo booth. You can also stop by the JAG booth for a chance to win a gift card. And tomorrow is the last day of the fair. The Spirit Week theme is Vacation Day, so dress like a tourist. And due to technical difficulties, yesterday we weren't able to show you our episode of TV Talk. Say we would like to try again. Check it out. Welcome to episode two of TV Talk. This time around, we focus around shows that are built around the horror and adventure genres. I have adopted six children. First up, we have The Umbrella Academy. This show is an adaptation to the comic book series of the same name. 43 infants were born randomly and are completely unrelated to the women who birthed them. Seven of these children were adopted by billionaire industrialist Sir Reginald Hargreaves and prepares them to save the world. The six remaining children later reunite to mourn the passing of Hargreaves and go on to attempt to solve the mystery of their father's death. 
This show is streaming exclusively on Netflix. Your father took up painting. Pretty much all he did towards the end. Next up, we have Treehouse. This riveting horror show focuses around Peter Rake as he moves to his family's estate in the woods. But the ghosts of his past are everywhere and debts will be settled. This show is good enough for you to wish it were a bit better, but it is definitely still worth checking out. This show is exclusively on Hulu. And now, what many of you have been waiting for, we have Stranger Things 3. In mid-1985, Mike and Elle have developed a romantic relationship and so have Max and Lucas. They all seem to be living normal lives until Lucas's sister, Erica, discovers a mysterious new threat and a lifeguard at the community pool disappears, which triggers the fear that many of them still have haunting their minds from the past. This show will be streaming on Netflix July 4th. And while we're on the topic on shows and streaming services, do you know Disney is developing its own streaming platform? Disney has released the cost of the service will be $7 a month, or about $70 a year, which is a $5 difference from Netflix's $13 fee. Well, that is all for this episode of TV Talk. Be sure to give these shows a peek. I'm your host, Justin Abner, and thanks for watching. Lastly, there will be an Interact Club meeting right after school today. Meet in the ALC Lecture Hall. You will elect new officers and celebrate this year with a pizza party. You must have at least eight service hours to vote. And tomorrow on the Oral Report, we will have our Movies of the Month, plus other fun events happening in our community over the weekend. And Mr. Hines, I heard that you had a great bike race at the health fair yesterday. I did. All of you that raced me on those bikes, it was awesome had so much fun. So I hope you join tomorrow or today and tomorrow at the health fair. It's a great time to learn a little bit more about mental health. And that's all for, for your, your Oreo, Oreo report. report. Remember, we are Avon. We are one. Have an awesome day, Avon. Tonight, I'm gonna take the chance to